You're watching Quick Touch Plus. Hey, welcome to Quick Touch Plus. My name is Patrick, and today we'll show you how you can create a geometrical background in Photoshop. This is what we were creating. And first of all, I want to encourage you all to like this video, subscribe to us, to us for future videos, because we have great content coming. Okay, first of all, you want to open. F no, first of all, you want to download this gradient and create an Illustrator. So make sure you download that, and then just open Photoshop, go on File, New, and then create a document size of. 100 by 70. I don't know, maybe that's too small. Oops. 800 by 600. Alright. Okay, you want to import oops, the gradient into Photoshop. Alright, maybe stretch it out a little bit. And you want to Go ahead and create 30 hexagons. Go on polygon, six sides, and make them around. It's too big. I think. That should be good size. Okay. Make it straight. Good enough. Okay, you wanna hold down your Alt key and then drag them so it makes another copy. So you can see here, it duplicates the layer, makes another copy. And then you wanna, but you wanna line them up in the middle like that. And make sure you have the opacity on 80%. So in both. Okay. And you want to snap them to the middle. Just like that. Okay. And to make things easier, you can go to uh, View and click on Snap. That will snap the layer layers together. Okay, I want to finish this. It's fourteen, fifteen. Gonna take a while. Twenty, twenty two, blah, 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 twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, seven. I'll just move them over a bit so I can see them. Oh man, I have a cool, that's not good. Okay, 29? No, that's 30. Okay. I'm gonna select them all and bring them in the middle. Make it a bit smaller because they don't fit in here. Let's stretch it out a bit. Like that. Okay, bring them to the top. You may be running. What's the gradient for? Okay, so you want to go down to the first hexagon and double click on the icon. That will bring the color picker. And then you want to click on the first color of the gradient, which is this one. And then you just want to keep on doing that all the way. Three, four, five, 
I'm just gonna pause the video. Okay, I'm now done the coloring. That took me a while. What you wanna do now is you can delete the gradient. I wanna put all these polygons in. Oh, well, to delete the numbers too. I wanna put all these polygons in one group. Select them all, and then just that. That didn't work out. Hold Control and drag them into the group icon, the folder icon. Okay. Now what you want to do now, you want to create the pattern. So to do that, you have to hold down the Alt key again, and then just drag them down till the screen is full. Okay, pretty simple. They don't have to be lined up perfectly, but try to do your best. Alright, so now you want to go ahead and select all the groups and put them in another one. And call it Patterns. And you can just press Ctrl T drag them out there, hold alt and shift just stretch them there you go now this is basically the end, the end but you can add some stuff to give it some more creativity because it looks, looks pretty flat. So one thing you can do is go to levels and drag this here and make it a bit darker and then you can uh, click press A on your keyboard to select the selection tool and then just click anywhere you want. This will bring up the layer you clicked on you want to double click on the layer and choose a different color. I'll choose a dark blue. And then just keep doing that. And then you will get a nice effect as well. Okay. I'm just going to do this really fast. And then one thing I also like to do is hold down Control, Alt, and Shift, and press E. That will take all the layers and put them into one image, as you can see here. Okay, so with the image selected, you want to go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and then go to Clarity and pull it up. And what's that going to do? It's going to give it a 3D effect. Okay. And then you can also go to Hue and Saturation and change the color. I like blue, so I'll leave it at that. Okay. All right. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like it, follow us on uh, Twitter, we have a Tumblr page, and make sure to stay subscribed. Thank you, bye bye.